coach of the Bulldogs, Concordia football coach Patrick Daberko as Concordia picks up a win here at home, final home regular season game, 55-26 to 26 here for the Tigers. It was a record-breaking day for the quarterback, D.J. McGarvey, and the Bulldogs get it done here uh, with a good performance. Coach, appreciate the time up here. Uh, what do you think? How did everything go here today? Final home game for the group, and a lot of, lot of new faces we saw in the game, some uh, new s seniors that we haven't really seen a whole lot here on senior day uh, got into the game there right at the end. What did you think of the performance here for the group? Well, anytime you can beat a rival, uh, in-state opponent um, like that, it's always always makes for a fun Saturday yeah. evening. And um, no better place than Bulldog Stadium, and no better group than than this group of of, of, of parents and fans and people. So, just uh, super excited about the win and. Um, and about how this locker room has stayed together this season. Yeah, DJ McGarvey broke a couple uh, school records today. Obviously, good offensive performance for you guys when you put up 55. Uh, what was working well for him? What was working well for you guys on offense? Well, I think, you know, anytime that you have success on offense, you look at the offensive line, and that's where the success, you know, is. you credit the success there. DJ makes so many good decisions, and, um, you know, Jabo is such a tough target, and we hit the line so fast with our running backs, and, um, and then if, if they if teams want to take away job or we got other guys who can hurt you and so it's just it's a it's truly a team effort some guys are going to get just more um, get more credit for things because yeah. they show up in the stat line but man the old line is playing great and you can do a lot of things when you're when your old line is playing well yeah and uh, also big uh, fumble recovery Deegan Barnes he made a punt block I think earlier in the season then he uh, recovers the fumble into the end zone for a touchdown what you think of some plays uh, like that here today well, it's fun to see our freshman, our freshman group, yeah, uh, come up big and, and make some big plays. You know, anytime that you can have guys like that, um, you know, Deegan had what 11 tackles. Ross is showing me here. Mm -hmm. I mean, my goodness, and a fumble return for a touchdown. I mean, that's a good day. And, and you know, any success that we have. But what's great about football is it's just an absolute team sport. You know, you, anything good or bad that happens is not uh, because of one guy or um, credit all to one guy. It's just such a team effort, and that's why. This locker room's been so fun to be with because they just they understand that and you know Philippians two three and four says don't do anything out of selfish ambition or vain conceit but in humility consider others better than yourself and I think our locker room has really embodied that I'm just prou proud of how they played today and and happy for them. Nice. What'd you think of senior day? Obviously before the game you had the tool belts out there giving them out to the 22 seniors on this team. What's that like uh, when you get to participate with that? It's always bittersweet. Um, it, it's. It's it's awesome because it's just just such a blessing to coach them and just to be able to like share in four and sometimes five years of college football with these guys. I mean that's not something that everybody no. can do. That's yep. a feat, you know. People who uh, who I don't think the average person understands just how much work it takes uh, to win in this game. And so um, all the blood, sweat, and tears and early mornings. It's just uh, it's just a credit to them. Uh, to finish the career out today and to finish the right way. Yeah. Just very proud of them. And then that, that tool belt we give them is symbolic. You know, we want them to be equipped to be servant leaders when they leave here. But, you know, we also want them to go use it and help their neighbors and, and uh, be men who other people can count on and lead well. And uh, Bulldogs here pull the four and five on the season. One more road game coming up here. Uh, Coach, final thoughts here from this one as you get the home win. You know, we're, we're two plays away this season from being a six and three team. And, and it's, it's, it, it, this season has not, um, it, you know, there, those two games, if, if we swing those two plays a different way, you know, maybe maybe we're looking at a playoff spot right now. But we're, we're not, and, and that's just the reality of the situation. And so um, I'm so proud of how this team fights, though. And a big shout-out to Carson Core, uh, se super senior from here in Seward. Uh, he proposed to his girlfriend down there just oh, now. That that's, what yeah, that's, that's, what took me, that's what took me a little bit longer getting no, up fine. here because I wanted to – I wanted to witness that and how cool. I, 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 I'm pretty sure she said yes. Yeah, she yeah. Everybody was pretty positive. I about mean, there it, were so. cheers. So there was I, so I'm much. Assuming. It was loud. So, yeah. Um, but that's yeah, awesome. yeah. Hopefully, we'll be recruiting their their son someday, and uh, that's, <laughs> that's that's what it's about. Well, I don't know if you know, but Dort knocked off Morningside today. Too. Good. Wow. All right. So that that's the G-Pack, man. G -pack, so. <laughs> that's life in the G-Pack. Crazy Good conference. One more next week at Mount Marty. Coach, appreciate your time as always. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Go dogs. All right. Let's take a break. We'll wrap all this up next here on Max Country.